Hello and welcome to Homescreen. I'm Joe Colchester, Product Manager here at 11FS Pulse. And in today's episode, we're joined by Dmitry Panchenko, Head of Tinkoff Investments, to talk about the Tinkoff Investor Community. How are you doing today, Dimitri? Uh, thank you well. Uh, how are you? Yeah, very well. Thank you. Um, so, so thank you for invitation. Uh, really nice to participate in such an interesting uh, meeting. No worries at all. It's great to have Tinkoff back on the show. Uh, we actually spoke to you guys about six months ago, um, covering lots of different areas of the the super app, uh, what we call them. Um, so it's it's uh, yeah, real real credit to you guys. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about um, Tinkoff generally? Tinkoff is the biggest Russian financial ecosystem. And in terms of banking, uh, we are the biggest private uh, Russian bank uh, by the number of uh, active customers. Uh, it seems to be the kind of first real super app we've seen in, in Europe. Um, and you cover the, you know, a few of those points that they, they do e-commerce, banking services, transportation services, um, you know, booking uh, taxis, getting food and all, all of that. Um, today, we're going to be focusing on um, Tinkoff Investments. Um, so could you just tell us a little bit of, um, about that and the background of it? Russian, the industry of investments, uh, of uh, retail investments, of trading is very, very young. So maybe 20 or 25 years and just five years ago, there were just uh, two or maybe 300,000 people who invest something uh, on stock exchanges. And uh, it was very difficult to invest. Uh, so five years ago, uh, we started the revolution. So uh, we uh, decided to get rid of uh, a lot of uh, obstacles, uh, which uh, doesn't permit uh, users to start trading. And uh, we managed uh, to get rid of this uh, rule. Uh, we managed to hide it from the clients. Uh, so we offered a very friendly interface phase for trading. So uh, in the end of 2016, uh, we didn't have a brokerage license at that moment, but uh, we did it in the partnership with another uh, brokerage company. Uh, we decided to apply for license and uh, two years later in 2018 we launched uh, our um, own brokerage platform uh, it was a separate uh, mobile application uh, we had a brokerage uh, license and uh, we succeeded a lot uh, now we are number one on the retail uh, brokerage market in Russia. We are the leader on uh, the both uh, Moscow Stock Exchange and St. Petersburg Stock Exchange. We are proud that 60% uh, of all uh, Russian customers are our customers. Good, good results, good good, results. good, 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 good performance. So, so, and uh, uh, now we have uh, more than 1 million uh, active customers and uh, it's the number one uh, result in Russia. Yeah, the, the numbers are, are really staggering in terms of engagement um, and also the profits. Um, so, so how does um, the model, how does it make money? We have maybe two mainly sources of our income. Uh, it's uh, brokerage fees uh, and uh, margin uh, trading. In terms of uh, the impact of the last year um, and, the, and the pandemic, um, how has that uh, changed user behavior? I think that it's impossible to make a short answer for the, this question, but uh, the people got more time for themselves. Uh, they decided to invest in themselves. Uh, and one of the way of investing in yourself is just to start uh, to educate you. We saw the huge demand for educational services and uh, people uh, had more time to learn something new. And uh, the possibility, which is popular all, all over the world, uh, I mean, uh, investments, uh, trading, so uh, it attracted uh, a lot of attention and uh, as an answer we implemented uh, the educational textbook uh, in our mobile application and one million and two hundred thousand uh, customers uh, came through this uh, textbook and uh, it's incredibly popular now wow. uh, yeah huge huge numbers um and uh, there's, there's been a kind of surge of retail investment investors um around the world um have you seen similar things in russia yes yeah, sure uh, low interest rates uh, helped us a lot of course really? uh, uh, the demand for yield helped us a lot uh, the demand for education helped us a lot and uh, but uh, after all, uh, we succeeded and, and we performed very well because of our advertisement mechanics. Uh, we launched uh, during uh, last year three uh, very interesting uh, advertising mechanics. Uh, so uh, we presented uh, uh, stocks, exact stocks uh, to our new customers. We 
uh, made uh, some hedge for the first investments on the stock markets. Uh, the second one began, and uh, uh, the third one I have already mentioned. Uh, I mean, uh, our textbook. So. Sure. And uh, all of this uh, advertising mechanics uh, performed very well, and uh, they helped us uh, to attract uh, now more than two million uh, new customers uh, during last year. Wow! Yeah. Uh, well, that's 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 great to hear. Um, and in terms of um, how the the app is organized, is this separate to the uh, kind of original Tinkoff app, um, or is it actually um, integrated in, into it? Uh, so uh, it's a separate uh, mobile application and uh, uh, inside of Tinkoff we, we call it uh, black one, uh, black application and uh, the banking application is the yellow one. Oh, yeah. But uh, why the decision to, to separate the two? Investments, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, functionality there. Um, there. There are a lot of uh, pages and uh, separate uh, requirements and uh, uh, it seems for us a uh, very complicated uh, issue to just to put it into a bank uh, banking ecosystem it requires a separate space uh, yeah. to, to, to meet all the requirements of uh, investments uh, of uh, all the customers of investments yeah i can totally see that and, and just taking a look at the um the investment app uh, there's so there's so many features within that app alone um, and a lot to navigate around that fitting that within something that's already got so many different um, purposes um, I can totally see why that decision was made how have the users uh, responded to to the app have they has it got high ratings have they um, have they enjoyed using it our users vote uh, for our application uh, by acting, by uh, choosing us as a broker. So, uh, of course, uh, the reason uh, for high popularity is uh, user-friendly, good design, uh, a lot of functions. Uh, of course, we have uh, very high rates, uh, 4.6, 4.7 uh, mm -hmm. in stores. And uh, also, we have our eternal rule to add something new at least uh, one time per month. Uh, so our release cycle is uh, three weeks now. So we, we try to add some new features and to um, increase the gap from our rivals in Russia. So our strategy is uh, to increase, uh, increase and increase this gap uh, and in such a way to get more popularity. Absolutely. Um, and uh, do you think that gives you uh, kind of an edge on your competitors? Um, and who, who might those be? Mm, here in Russia? Yeah. Uh, we are number one. Uh, the next one's uh, Sberbank, is the government bank. Uh, then uh, uh, VTB, another one, uh, government banks. Uh, there are some private rivals, uh, but uh, all of them smaller than us uh, several times. And I suppose you have a, um, a faster release rate and, and uh, better UX, and hence the, the increase of uh, um, customers coming in. Um, in terms of uh, uh, a new feature that you've released relatively recently is the uh, Pulse feature, which is a great name, by the way. Um, that um, it seems to bring in community um, into the um, kind of the whole offering, uh, which is something that we, we've only just kind of recently started seeing um, within the app itself. So could you just give us a little intro to, to what that feature is? Uh, so it's a very important feature. We uh, launched it uh, one year and a half uh, ago. Uh, it's full cycle network and uh, it could be compared to Facebook or to Instagram or something like that. And uh, yeah. it's very interesting network because uh, all of our users are verified. There is no uh, any bots uh, here. So uh, because uh, you can open an account in Pulse network only if you are a customer of uh, Tinkoff. Uh, and uh, that means that you have to show your passport so that you sh have to sign uh, the documents and uh, uh, that means that uh, you're a real person and uh, it's a very important feature in terms of uh, network. So the main uh, idea of uh, Pulse uh, is to give uh, our customers a space so where uh, they can not just share the investment ideas or just um, discuss some ideas or stocks and bonds, but uh, to give them more, to give them uh, the space for 
communications for everyday life, uh, for education, so and uh, uh, it has already became uh, became uh, such a thing. So uh, our users organize uh, some different events, uh, some bars. Uh, there was uh, uh, electronic wedding there, so they just gathering in. Uh, uh, spouse, uh, they put uh, one uh, post and then they make some comments. Uh, so uh, it became more than just uh, financial or investment discussions, but uh, we tried to make it wider and then we managed to do it. Yeah. So we're going to actually now take a look into Pulse. Uh, so you see the user profile. Uh, it's uh, information about uh, your sus subscriptions and uh, subscribers. Uh, and uh, uh, then you see the most interesting information. So uh, if uh, you are a member of our social network Pulse, uh, you agree to uh, disclose uh, your uh, yield. So everyone uh, can see your yield by the years, uh, by the months. You see it here. Uh, we open uh, the range of uh, users' assets. So uh, we don't uh, sh uh, show uh, how much um, assets uh, does the client have, but uh, we show the range. Uh, here is shown as maximum range. Uh, so the portfolio is bigger than 1 million rubles. Um, it's roughly about maybe $15,000. So also we disclose uh, the exact uh, trades of uh, our users. The portfolio of uh, exact user is available too. So uh, you can see here how uh, his uh, portfolio balanced by the tickets. Here you see Alibaba, Sberbank, Vertex Pharmaceuticals, Tinkoff Capital, etc., etc. After you can see how this portfolio is balanced by uh, the spheres, medicine, financial sector, uh, consumer goods and services, etc., and uh, by currencies here. And uh, then about uh, we disclose this information about his trades. So. Uh, uh, we, we don't give uh, the information about uh, the volume of the trades, but uh, we give the information about price, about the moment, and about the uh, buy or sell. So what, uh, what are we seeing here then? Uh, this is when uh, um, an investor has purchased Microsoft shares? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he purchased uh, on 8th of March, uh, 27th January, uh, so only purchased. And they've chosen to make this information public um, so that people can can copy and learn from them. Mm, yeah, it's possible. So uh, if you want, you can just copy these uh, trades. So uh, here we see uh, his posts. So uh, every uh, Pulse uh, user can uh, make a lot of posts uh, and he can tag in these posts uh, the exact tickers, uh, so shares or bonds here. Uh, he can add uh, some pictures here or some screen screenshots sure. mm, and uh, everyone uh, and his subscribers can uh, add uh, the comments here here you see the cut of a company so uh, uh, this is the cut of the company, the main instrument of a trader. You, you can push the button to buy or sell these blue and uh, black ones. Uh, you see the graphs and uh, one of uh, the parts uh, uh, in the upper side is the Pulse. So uh, it's, it's a shortcut to Pulse network. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, Alphabet shares and uh, if you're interested what uh, our Pulse users think about it, what do they discuss uh, concerning this uh, share, you just put the button Pulse from here. And uh, you see all the discussions about uh, Alphabet. So uh, you see all the discussions where uh, Alphabet's share were tagged. It's really convenient because, for example, when I see some uh, movements in some shares and I don't have much time just to go to some uh, news feeds, I just uh, go to the company's card and then uh, push uh, Pulse and uh, I see that uh, our users uh, comments uh, all the news about the companies and it's, it's the easy way to understand uh, and to realize what's happening with the company at the moment. So we saw some kind of classic um, social media design there. Um, where did uh, some of that inspiration come from in terms of um, uh, were, you, were you looking at some other major platforms or, or yeah, where did, the, where did the inspiration come from? 
it's difficult to say because there is no any um, single uh, resource uh, which inspires us or encourages us uh, to create our designs so or our uh, interfaces. Uh, of course, uh, all the social networks, uh, all the financial decisions uh, put in our uh, watch list. There is a rule in our company just uh, every month uh, we gather our product team and uh, research uh, and watch the presentation of some uh, new social network uh, with financial accent or new uh, financial platform uh, so and in such way we try to see all the modern and all the actual uh, decisions uh, which we have uh, in the, all over the world in terms of uh, you know when you when you first set this up you mentioned a year and a half ago um what kind of behaviors have you been surprised by um when when because you obviously have no idea how people are going to interact with um, these sort of features um has there been any any kind of behavior that surprised you amongst your users you know uh, there are a lot of surprises connected with this social network uh, so uh, the first surprise that uh, we realized that uh, how many users really loves our service uh, yeah. uh, how many people really loves uh, our pulse uh, they organize a lot of uh, flash mobs uh, uh, they post uh, poems about pulse about trading so it's uh, it's incredible and uh, yeah. it's very it's very very funny so um, uh, we, we really like to discuss it uh, uh, we try to encourage our users so we give them some gifts uh, and uh, of course, we have several community managers. Uh, we try to work with the core uh, users, how to attract uh, more uh, subscribers, uh, how to generate more interesting content and uh, everyday dialogue. Uh, but, uh, so we have a lot of chats uh, and uh, we have a, a rule monthly meetings with core uh, users of uh, Pulse. We uh, listen to the advices we listen to their concerns and it's very interesting dialogue so as uh, they try to help us and uh, it's very interesting moment that they're really interested in good service they that they are in really interested in uh, helping us to build a convenient platform it's a very good feeling that you have uh, a big uh, army that support you that uh, try to help you they uh, help us to inform each other and they support us uh, they say oh there are some troubles with uh, think of investments but uh, be sure that they will solve it in in several minutes and uh, it's very 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 uh, interesting and we are really proud that we managed to build such a network I'm sure yeah that, that's, that's a great community it must be very rewarding and also helpful uh, to get that kind of feedback and, and also that kind of engagement um, which I suppose also plays into the educational aspect. Um, I know you, you have a separate um, part for that but the community must also feed into that um, that education that you're um, pushing which is, which is great. Um, well thank you uh, so so much for, for joining us today uh, Dimitri it's been great to chat. Um, is there any way that people can can reach out to you or to um, perhaps Tinkoff? Uh, uh, I advise you to visit our website, there is an English version, uh, thinkof.ru, uh, and uh, also you can find me on uh, Facebook. Okay, great. Uh, Thank well, um, thanks so much. It's been great chatting um, and getting to know more about Thinkof Investments, which is clearly uh, just kind of taken off so well in the, in the past few years. Um, and uh, thanks everyone for watching this episode. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, go follow 11FS YouTube channel. Um, so you can never miss one of these episodes. Also, if you want to see more journeys like these and heaps more of the Tinkoff journeys, um, as well as thousands of uh, user journeys from banks and fintechs from around the world, uh, head over to pulse.11fs.com to find out more. Uh, and thank you so much for joining us. See you next time.